Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are gonna be taking some time off of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet hype train to talk about something that was promised a year ago. Pokemon Home Support. This has been a constant concern ever since Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, and it is now April. April of 2022. BDSP came out in November, Legends Arceus came out in January, and there is still no Pokemon Home integration for either of these games. This has been a problem for the Pokemon company dating back to bank on the Nintendo 3DS. Let's discuss it. I can remember a video that I made back in the summer of 2021 talking about Pokemon Home Support for BDSP. They had said ever since they announced Home Support was going to be in these games that it would not come until 2022. This is a trend that Game Freak and the Pokemon Company have kept up with over the years. Even back into X and Y and Oras, Pokemon Bank support back then didn't come to those games until a couple months after release. But with those games, usually it was January or February of the following year, with the games coming out in November. We are now in April. As of recording this, it is April 11th, and there is no sign of Pokemon Home support. Every time that we learn that Pokemon Home or some of these games are going under maintenance or that they're getting updates, there's the speculation of, oh, are they finally adding home support? And that continues to not happen. They've added other features to BDSP, such as the mystery... Uh, the Wonder Trade Station in Jubilife City, those things have finally come to the game. But any sort of support of bringing your Pokemon over to the mobile app and to the Switch app have just not happened. This is disappointing for a number of reasons. One of the biggest reasons why is because so many Pokemon fans enjoy having all of their Pokemon in one place. I know that if I'm like anybody else, you probably enjoy bringing your teams from each of your playthroughs up into the newest generation. And since we can no longer safely bring all of our Pokemon up to the newest generation, thanks to the new recent Dex cuts, bringing them into home is the only real way to handle it. You can have all of your Pokemon in home, you can look at them on your phone, you can look at them on your tablet, or you can pull them up on your Switch and you can send a select number of them to Sword and Shield. Pokemon home support is central to keeping players memories with Pokemon intact. This was the case with the 3DS and Pokemon Bank. That service is very soon going to no longer exist. They're shutting down the Nintendo 3DS eShop next year, which means you're no longer going to be able to get Pokemon Bank. I believe they are working on some things to make it so you can still use Pokemon Bank if you have it downloaded. I believe they're making it free or some other changes that they're doing in light of the fact that the store is closing. But that doesn't take away the fact that there are a ton of eShop exclusive games on the 3DS that are no longer going to be compatible with modern Pokemon. Gold, silver, crystal, red, blue, and yellow, all of those games on the virtual console, you're never going to be able to play again if you don't already have them on your 3DS. There's gonna be special events that are gonna be lost. When Pokemon Crystal came out on the 3DS, you were able to do the Celebi event in Ilex Forest. You were even able to shiny hunt that Celebi and get a pink Celebi, and you could bring it up into the most recent games. All of that functionality is going to be lost when the eShop closes. This is all to just hammer down the point that having a service like Home where you can safely bring all of these Pokemon up with you as we get new hardware and as we get new software with Pokemon is paramount. All of your Generation 4 support on the Nintendo Switch at the moment is completely barred from this transfer service. BDSP doesn't have this support yet. Legends Arceus doesn't have this support yet. I just beg the question, what's going on? Why is it taken this long for such a central feature of modern Pokemon to actually be available to players, especially when it's a service that we are paying a monthly fee for? It doesn't make any sense. Now, before going further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. But if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. That last point that I mentioned before the break is where I want to circle back to right now. Pokemon Home is not a free service. This is a cloud service where you can store all of your Pokemon. You can store thousands of Pokemon. For a lot of players, that really just means teams that you bring up from previous games or teams that you continually reuse from Sword and Shield. 
because we like to reset our games and replay them, but you don't want to lose those team members. You don't want to lose those Pokemon. I can recall an interview that Junichi Masuda did back in the release cycle for, it was either, I believe it was Pokemon X and Y, and it was when they were announcing Pokemon Bank. In this, I believe it was a Pokemon Direct in September of that year, Junichi Masuda mentioned how he's had people come up to him and tell him that one of the biggest things that they want and that they enjoy in Pokemon is that as they get older, they still have those team members that they made memories with when they were younger, and that they can continue to have those Pokemon and bring them up through generations. He said, that's one of the reasons why they did Pokemon Bank on the 3DS. So you could preserve those team members and have a place to keep them as they continue to make games. They did an interview with a famous uh, a famous singer in it, and she was the one who actually told him she enjoys doing this with her Charizard, I believe. It was a really interesting interview, and it was a really look, it was a look under the hood of Game Freak and how they how they might think about these things. Pokemon Bank cost, I believe, $4.99 a year was not expensive at all. The price of home is more, and it's more per month, and it's more per year. And this is my big my big point here. They understand seemingly behind the scenes that a service like bank, a service like home, or at least having some way to bring all of your Pokemon up to the more modern world is important to a lot of trainers. Even if the nature in which how Pokemon games are played is changing, where you're swapping out team members a lot more in more modern games, and the idea of having a set six roster maybe isn't as emphasized as it used to be in older generations, that enjoyment of raising a team, having your starters, the Pokemon you shiny hunt for and then make memories with, being able to bring those up through the generations is important to a lot of fans. They're charging for the service that fans really want for that purpose. I don't know. Call me a, um, a, a greedy consumer here, if you will. But I expect that service to be available for the newest games if I'm paying for the service. I'm not really sending a lot of Pokemon back and forth between, between Sword and Shield and Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee right now to Pokemon Home. The games that I would want to transfer Pokemon back and forth from are Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus. Legends Arceus specifically, because there are Hisuian forms in Legends Arceus that aren't in other modern games. Now, we have seen them in Scarlet and Violet, and that probably gives us, you know, a bit of a clue that we're going to be able to bring these Pokemon into home when that support eventually happens. But these are Pokemon that are locked to, right now, one game and one game only. And they are being locked there because the Pokemon company has yet to update a service that we are making a financial commitment as consumers to pay for because we want to have these Pokemon with us all the time. In my opinion, there's really no excuse for the fact that it's taken this long for this service to be updated completely. You want to tell me that it's going to come in January or February after both games come out. That's perfectly fine. That's acceptable. You can, I can have issues with that. And in a world where I got to make the decisions, these services should be available day one for these games. I understand that some people make an argument that for the competitive reasons for BDSP, they don't want people to send in some of their old Pokemon that are already EV trained and IV trained so they can be using competitive. They want to reset the competitive scene. I understand that. But if that's the case, program in a way to check those Pokemon that aren't exclusive to BDSP, that don't come from BDSP, and block them from Wi-Fi battles, if that's what you really want from your competitive scene. They've used this excuse in generations past for why this service wasn't there at launch. In my opinion, it's not fair to lock a feature to every single player who might not be a competitive battler just for the sake of those people. It doesn't make any sense to me. None of this makes any sense. Why it is April 11th. It is four months into 2022 and we have no updates on this service. I'm asking Game Freak in this video, Pokemon Company. Uh, they probably won't watch this video, but where is Pokemon Home? It's one of the videos that I uploaded last year that still consistently gets views on the back end in my analytics page. People are still looking to that old Pokemon Home video from summer, and I constantly get new comments in that video of people asking where the service is. And I couldn't agree more with them. Where is the service? I want answers. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments section below. Is Pokemon Home something that you guys utilize and will it be something you utilize when it comes to BDSP and Legends Arceus and eventually to Scarlet and Violet? If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on so you never miss future content. And with that being said, I've been Linky. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.